So now we look into the effect of temperature on spontaneity. Okay. Uh, so uh, if the enthalpy negative, okay, spontaneous, so enthalpy negative spontaneous, entropy positive also spontaneous. So our Gibbs free energy will be spontaneous. Means that always negative. So the reaction will be spontaneous at all temperature. So at this case, the temperature does not uh, affect the spontaneity. So well, enthalpy spontaneous, entropy pun spontaneous. So the delta G kita pun akan dapat spontaneous lah. Dia masukkan dalam formula ni. Okay. So when the enthalpy is positive, non-spontaneous. Betul? Entropy negative, also non-spontaneous. So, the delta G that you will get will be always positive. So, direction is non-spontaneous at all temperature. Again, temperature does not affect the spontaneity in this case. Huh? So, what will happen if the enthalpy is negative, spontaneous? Entropy is also negative, meaning that non-spontaneous. So, our Gibbs free energy, okay, uh, the will be negative, okay, means that will be spontaneous at low temperature, but it will become non-spontaneous at high temperature. So, in this case, it's the temperature affect the spontaneity. Yes. Temperature dependence. Yes. And another case is that enthalpy positive, non-spontaneous. But the entropy uh, is spontaneous, which is positive. So our Gibbs free energy will be positive, meaning that direction will be non-spontaneous at low temperature. But will be negative spontaneous at high temperature so um, the question that they might ask you is that contoh um, soalan lah selalu tidak akan uh, bagi kamu uh, kira keep spray energy tu and then the asyata and then the soalan B tu dia akan beritahu when the increase, uh, what will happen at the spontaneity? Is it still occur spontaneously when they increase the temperature at 500 Kelvin? Contoh. So, you can hear it lah. Masuk balik dalam formula ni. So, you can hear it. So, spontan ke tak spontan? Bila dia tukarkan temperature tu daripada room temperature, let's say, 298 to 500 Kelvin. Um, right? Okay, another type of question that they will ask you is that they uh, will ask you whether the temp to determine the temperature. Okay, at which a process is spontaneous. Okay, contoh soalan eh. Determine the temperature which a process is spontaneous. So, when the process is spontaneous, delta G must be uh, less than zero. Betul? Okay, meaning that delta H minus T delta S less than zero spontaneous. So that uh, sebab dia nak tahu temperature uh, bila reaction to spontaneous so you kena guna yang ni lah. Okay. Delta H minus TS less than zero. Okay. So uh, kita baca soalan dulu. For reaction in which enthalpy is 199.5 kJ per mole and entropy is 476 joule per kelvin mole. Determine the temperature in degree Celsius, which direction is spontaneous. Okay. So when direction is spontaneous, the Gibbs free energy will be less than zero. So, um, masukkan formula Gibbs free energy tu, which is delta H minus T delta S less than zero. So, masukkanlah. 
uh, entalpi dia kat sini berapa minus T temperature yang kita nak cari ok, bila dia spontaneous and then entropi dia berapa ok so you masukkan dalam formula ni so kita akan dapat the temperature is 419 Kelvin ok akan dapat 419 Kelvin and then uh, Temperature, okay, temperature dia adalah uh, great, you akan dapat greater than 419 Kelvin. Okay. Okay, okay. So, temperature is greater than 419 Kelvin. The answer that you will get. Okay, sekarang ni dia nak dalam degree Celsius. So, tukarlah kepada degree Celsius. So, temperature at which the process is spontaneous, the temperature must be greater than 145.8 degree Celsius. Okay. Now we proceed to the phase transition between physical state. Okay. So, uh, the phase transition between physical state means that the temperature at which the phase transition occur mean that the system is at equilibrium. So, uh, you can samakan Gibbs free energy to equal to zero. So, because we know that Gibbs free energy equal to enthalpy of the system minus temperature times enthalpy of entropy of the system, right? Uh, so, ni yang saya cakap tadi. Uh, enthalpy, uh, entropy of the system equal to delta H over T system, eh? Kalau enthalpy of the surrounding, yang mula formula dalam video yang sebelum ni, dia ada negatif kan? Enthalpy of the surrounding equal to negative delta H over T. Kalau entropy of the system equal to delta H over T. Okay, tak ada negatif. Okay, so ni. For direction below, find entropy if direction occur at 65 degrees C. Okay. So, entropy is delta H over T. Oh, the, okay, right. Okay. So, uh, entropy 40.79 kJ per mol over Hmm, temperature, temperature must be in Kelvin. Okay, remember, work for the Kelvin, so you get the entropy of the system is 1 to 0 joule per Kelvin. More, okay. Right. Okay, this is the another information about the Gibbs free energy okay uh, if the Gibbs free energy formation for the element is equal to zero mean that uh, so sorry uh, Gibbs free energy of formation is equal to zero okay for elements in the standard state okay so, macam entalpi lah. Kalau entalpi macam sini ni. Entalpi of deformation is equal to zero for elements eh. In the standard state. And standard free energy of formation is the energy change for the formations of one more of the substance from its elements in the standard state. Substance with negative values for uh, spare energy of formation are stable and do not decompose into their constituent elements and so if they ask you to calculate the heat spread energy uh, you can use this the, uh, this formula okay so we akan bagi uh, table to standard free energy of formation value for reactants and product to calculate standard free energy changes for the reaction. Sama juga macam yang tadi kita belajar untuk entropi dengan entropi which is 
standard free energy changes equal to standard free energy uh, for the product minus standard free energy for the reactant. Okay, so I think that's all. Um, um, so nanti kita saya akan bagi tutorial lah. Okay, some exercise so that to to hand to to so that to increase your understanding. Yeah. Okay, thank you.